You're talking book sign Michelle Martin. Oprah Winfrey has touched millions over the 25 years that she's spent in broadcasting on television, helming her own network. She's so accomplished as a speaker. When I picked up her latest book, What I Know For Sure, what I wanted to see was if the voice that I had grown uh, to, to really enjoy hearing over the airwaves and on television was the same as her written voice. And I have to say, uh, there is very little difference there is that same ring of authenticity, that same charm, that wonder, that excitement for, for life. And this is why I'm recommending What I Know For Sure, Oprah Winfrey's latest book. It's positive, it's uplifting, and it's short. It's easy to get through. It's not terribly labored, which was sort of how you felt when you watched an Oprah Winfrey show. You know, it was a short dose of inspiration. It didn't take so much out of you. It wasn't wrenching. And some shows were, but on the whole, uh, most of it was very ple- uh, very pleasurable hour. What I, I know for sure grew out of Oprah Winfrey's uh, columns, which she penned once a month over 14 years before she retired from the Oprah Winfrey show and uh, those were columns for her Oprah magazine or oh so those inspiring words of wisdom have been brought together in this particular compilation where you hear everything from Oprah's thoughts on aging her thoughts on pleasure which she says it's important and that she works as hard as she plays. She believes in the yin and the yang of life. And so she's all about experiencing life in this moment. Also get to know Oprah and how she felt when she was on tour with Tina Turner. She starts with that, how it was her dream to be the backup dancer for Tina. And after a full day's rehearsal, just for one song, she got her chance. And she said for five minutes, 27 seconds, it was the most nerve wracking, knee shaking, exhilarating experience ever she said I have never been more out of my element out of my body but I got a chance to feel what it's like to rock on stage oh, with Tina Turner no less also find out more about Oprah Winfrey's thoughts on power here it is, page 226. In the third grade, I learned the golden rule, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. I love those words. I wrote them down on everything and carried them around in my book satchel. I was a good deed door. At one point, I thought I was going to be a missionary. Then in fifth grade, I ran into some problems. There was a girl in my class who didn't like me. So I ran around school talking about her. One of my friends pointed out that if I believed in doing unto others and was talking about this girl, chances are that she was talking about me too. I don't care, I replied, because I don't like her anyway. For a long time, whenever I would say or do something that went against my better self, I would try to justify it to myself. What I didn't understand is that all of our, our actions, both good and bad, come back to us but eventually I learned that we receive from the world what we give to the world it is the essence of what Eastern philosophers called karma in the color purple the character Seely explained it to mister everything you try to do to me already done to you the words there of Oprah Winfrey it's such a pleasure this book is what I know for sure and guess what I have a copy for you I think good books should be shared so I'd like to give you a copy if you call through and share with me what book you've read recently that you think all of Singapore needs to hear about 669-11938 if you'd like a hard cover by the way of Oprah Winfrey's latest book what I know for sure this is Talking Books I'm Michelle Martin